What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, and back with another Classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now today I want to go through two gold making strategies that I've been using a little bit recently, that have been working wonders for me. This will not make you absolutely rich, but it's very good if you just want to make some passive gold while watching Netflix or watching something on the second screen, or if you're brand new to the game. Basically, you don't need a lot of gold to do the start of this, a couple of silvers, you will be fine, and then you can double your gold almost every single time. So you just make a couple of silvers here and there and make gold that way. It's super super easy, no level requirement actually you have to be level five that's it you have to be level five and have like two silver then you can start so yeah very simple gold making strategy today and i will also say videos like this once again gold making videos and information where i'm pumping out something talking about a certain gold making strategy i know that when it's public it will lose a little bit of the value so i've started doing them in early access people that have my gold making guide already knows this that i'm giving you guys early access to videos and information like this one so if you want to have this one before or like videos like this before they go public consider checking out the guide. It has a 134 pages of gold making info, 50 different gold farms from level 10 to level 60, so you can use them in every single phase of the season itself. You can check that out right now, plus you get early access to this on top. So the main thing you're buying for, you're buying here is once again the guide, and then you're getting early access to videos is kind of a sprinkle on top, plus my way of giving even more back to just add more value to the product itself. So I'm doing early access videos like this, we have investment videos, and we have several gold farms coming up and once again we're only in phase one so imagine phase two phase three phase four and how much gold you can make if you want to check it out the link is down below and if you do thank you so much for the support now let's get into the gold making strategy for today this one is based on enchanting so you have to have a character with enchanting there's no skill requirement you can even skill up enchanting by doing what i'm doing here so you want to look for items, you want to have TSM or an add-on that will tell you the actual disenchant value, which TSM does perfectly for me. So as you can see right here when I'm hovering over a journeyman's vest, it tells me the vendor sell price, the min buyout on the auction house, and the disenchant value. This one is a min buyout of 5 silver, but it has a bid of 1 silver, and the disenchant value is 4.5. So simply by bidding on this and winning the bid, I will make over twice my gold, almost three times profit on this item. It's only about three silver that I'm making when I'm bidding and disenchanting and winning, but it's still something that I'm willing to go for. So I'm bidding on everything that will make me a profit. That's like, that's taking it one step further. You can also buy them out. Scrolling out down to this one, for example, 4.5 silver, 2.97 copper, or 2.97 silver buy out price. So for this one, I'm making straight up one and a half silver profit. It's not much, but imagine you're brand new to the game, and you buy 10 items like this, suddenly you have 15 silver, and you keep doing this. You can also set up a TSM operation for this if you want to. For me, I'm just doing it the normal way, in the old school way, and just scrolling through the items, because TSM have burned me in the past, where you scroll a little bit too fast, and suddenly you buy an item way overpriced. Because usually I set my scroll wheel to buy, and when I run a shopping scan, I just start buying, and suddenly I make a mistake. So for me, I'm just much more comfortable doing it with the regular auction house. So once again, what I'm doing then is go to armor, and you search for rarity, you put uncommon, so you search for uncommon, then you do current bid and scroll down. That way you always get the cheapest ones first. And then current bid will show you the cheapest bids as well. And then just compare the bid towards the actual uh, disenchant value and bid on absolutely everything. And if you find something worth buying out as well, that is perfect. So for most bids under 4 silver, you will double or triple your gold every single time. So just bidding here and bidding there. And the thing is, when you bid on something, I don't even think they can cancel the auction. So the only way, like this one, 3.8, disenchant value is 9.9. .9. I'm tripling my gold on that one. So in this case, this one as well, 9.9 .9 and 3 silver bid. Very easy bid for me in this case, and I'll just bid on that one and keep pumping. This one, this one for example, now it's up to 4 silver bid and only a 4 silver... 4.5 silver disenchant value, which for me, 50 copper, is not really worth grabbing. Now that's just step one. After step one, you can also, like once you have bought everything or bid on everything that is under level 10, which has a disenchant value of 4.5, you can then set the level range to be, let's just say 13. 
to 25 and then you do the same thing again where you check bid and scroll down and now they will have the disenchant value of 9.9 .9. and then once again you just bid on everything unless the buyout is like close to the bid price or you make gold by buying out and then once again just keep bidding on everything in this case i'm making between three four and five silver on every single item that i'm bidding on and when once again we hit the mark of being close to the value which is currently 9.9 .9 silver we just up the level range and once again bid on everything again again unless you just want to buy out like for example some of the mystic wheelies here they're selling for eight point well actually eight silver right so eight silver and the disenchant value is 10 silver so you can once again go from eight silver to 10 silver and do the, do that enough 50 items that's one gold even though that's once again that's a lot of work for one gold but i like bidding just bidding make me more gold every single item and it's a very easy way to skill up enchanting as well on top of that now when you get to the level 16 bracket you can see they start disenchanting for 15.5 silver once again this is the average value so sometimes you, give, you will get less and sometimes more but this is the average disenchant value of this item so to hit that norm you pretty much have to buy many of them but in this case you can see it's selling for 7.6 and i'm getting 15.5 so i'm doubling my cash getting seven silver for seven silver so once again buy 10 of these and you just made 70 silver and you spend 70 silver to make it as well just from buying 10 and you can see this one even has a a buyout price of 10 and I can get 15.5 back very easy way to make five silver in this case and this just scales very quickly buying certain items on the auction house then disenchanting them goes very very fast and once again disenchanting has no requirements other than being level five to pick up a profession so it's very very easy and then you just go through the process bidding on everything buy out the certain items you want to buy out and go through that all the way down until you hit the mark where it's no longer profitable for you once again disenchant value being 15.5 for me i would go till until about 14 silver here and then scale it up one more time so scale it up to level 25 for example you can see that they start having even more disenchant value 32 silver disenchant value and 12 silver bid even this one 32 silver disenchant value for gloves of meditation they're selling for 17 so you can go from 17 to 32 that is a 15 silver profit for buying out disenchanting selling the enchanting materials it is very easy gold and i do simply don't understand why they're still selling for this amount on the auction house there's so many of them selling for way less than they should even these hillman's shoulders you can just pump these out i can buy these right now make 10 silver profit i can buy all of these ones make 15 silver profit or 12 silver profit and i can make i can buy all of these and make 17 silver profit or 15 silver profit on every single one which believe me I'm going to do. And my cat just walked all over the keyboard. And I think that's my clue. I think my cat just told me that I've been speaking way too much to the microphone. So I'm going to go and show the cat some... Um, what am I trying to say? So I give my cat some attention. There we go. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching, boys. Hopefully this helps you make some gold. Once again, it's a very easy way to make a lot of gold. You can just bid on items or buy them out and you will make so much. Once again, if you do want early access to gold making videos or gold making info, check out the guide through the link down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon.